I thought it'd be a really good test with the ThinkPad Extreme Gen 4 to see how it handled video games. It does have a 3060 inside of it, and it's it's geared towards professionals who need to do like 3D modeling. It's a it's the RTX Studio edition. But if you install regular GeForce drivers as I have, you can play video games and you can expect pretty solid performance. So right now I'm running uh, Valhalla here, Assassin's Creed, in native resolution, which is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, effectively quad HD. And I have the settings set to a mix of high and ultra. And I'm surprised to be getting over 50 frames per second. So I got two things for you that I'll call out as I do this demonstration before we move on to the next game. It's going to be hard to read it, so I'll call it out. Upper left-hand corner are the current frames. And then I also have a, uh, a, a decibel meter thing. I don't know what they call these things. Uh, a sound level meter. And I'll be calling out how loud the fans are running. They are going. I mean, you could probably hear it already. Yeah, I mean, they're going. But this laptop doesn't have a vapor chamber uh, like a razor blade would or even like a Legion 7i would have. So it's not really meant for gaming. It's probably going to get warm, but we're going to check it out. Uh, you know, here we go. 57 decibels, 55 frames per second. Fifty-eight decibels, fifty-four frames per second. We just dropped to thirty-three, and we're still at around fifty-eight decibels. All right, so big drop between fifty-five, fifty-eight down to thirty-three. And here in this cutscene, we're at 36. Sounds at 58, 58.1. So it sounds like we're probably not going to exceed that volume from the fans. This is as hard as the fans can work. This laptop has only been running the game for maybe two or three minutes. So things are not very warm right now. I'm touching the deck just to see. Um, the WASD area is very cool. The right side of the keyboard is warmer, but it's totally fine. And then the portion of the deck, you know, right here below the monitor is the warmest, but it's, it's tolerable. I can keep my fingers there for a bit. All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, folks, we're taking a look now at The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, one of the best games ever if you haven't played it. And we're running it native resolution, quad HD, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. NVIDIA Hairworks is on with a modest level of anti-aliasing. We're looking at ultra settings right now, so it's pretty much as high as it's going to get with The Witcher 3 out of the box. And we'll do the same thing, here we go. 51.9 decibels and 55 frames per second. 57 frames per second. 57 frames per second. We just hit 55 decibels and we're at 59 frames per second. Fifty seven point six decibels, fifty eight frames per second. And then we have a cutscene with Yen. We'll just pause here. So I'm not shocked after seeing what Valhalla was able to do. Witcher 3 is an older game, still looks beautiful to me. Uh, this is pretty awesome, guys. If you're looking for a work laptop that's around four pounds, right, with a sixteen inch display and a high resolution at that but you also want to play some games, you can totally pull it off with the 3060. This is awesome to see. All right, now the final game I'm going to show here is Red Dead Redemption Online. This is a game I have a love-hate relationship with, uh, which we won't go into right now. So, same deal. I'll call out the FPS and the sound. I have it at native resolution, and pretty much everything is set to ultra. So, let's see how we do. Look how slow the menu is. I mean, come on, guys. 42, 52.5 decibels, 42, I mean this thing is locked at 42, alright just shot to 40, never mind, yeah still at 42, 52.3 decibels, 
I mean, it sure is a beautiful game. I just wish I knew how to play it. Look at that. Gosh, that is gorgeous. 43 and 52.3 decibels. So, on Ultra, it does look beautiful. Quad HD. Ah, man. Well, I mean, what else can I say? The... Whoa, okay, it just jumped up to 57.7 decibels, so uh, the fans do get loud, like we talked about with the other games, but this is excellent performance for a work laptop. I, I, I just think it's wonderful, and again, you can switch between the drivers, between Studio Edition and Gaming, you know, GeForce Experience, so keep that in mind. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching the video, hope you found this helpful. Cheers.